BYD Fi is a crypto exchange on desktop and mobile where you can spot trade, futures trade, use leverage tokens, and copy the trades of top traders. If you sign up with the link in the description, you get a $300 when you deposit $100. There's hundreds of crypto available on their spot exchange, as well as a free test account so you can practice futures trading without getting wrecked. BYD Fi. Hello everybody, welcome back. So I'm at my holiday destination, so I might as well just make this one short and sweet because I appreciate production <laughs> production values like the last thing on my you'll find on my YouTube channel. So we're going to talk about alt season. I know that's like a bold statement. I'm not going to call it an alt season anymore, but let's call it like some some alt coin gains. That so we've seen now uh, with Hong Kong becoming or wanting to be some form of crypto hub for Asia. That's not unlike what it used to be before mainland China took it over. By the way, uh, I used to do promotions and I still use the exchange um, Pionex, and uh, they were based in Hong Kong. They had some seriously awesome laws over there, so no crypto uh, capital gains, all crypto profits were free, and you know it sounded like uh, like an amazing place to be for crypto. Uh, and so it looks like it's going to be that, but then maybe close to that again. So that the reaction that Bitcoin and crypto has had as a result of this news that has come out, which is going to come into effect at uh, the beginning of next month, so. In my opinion, this could end up being a buy the rumor, sell the news for crypto. Uh, and at the root, at the moment, the rumor is being bought. Um, so when we, when we move over to the technicals, uh, as a result of that move uh, based on the situation over in Asia, um, it wasn't as big and bold as the previous one. I was looking at it on the live stream last night. I remember the last time something like this happened over in China, we saw an enormous move. It was, I think, from what I remember, it was like a 40% move on Bitcoin. And not quite the same thing here. But the most important thing to take away from this, and I know I appreciate we're looking at this on an hourly chart today, the most important thing to take away is a matter of maintaining this area, this uh, 26,650. That's the breakdown area. That's the bit that we dip down below. Uh, and if we can maintain this area as support now, then I think we're, we'll move back up to the 27,200, which still is a uh, bit of a uh, an area of, uh, well, I suppose fraught with bearishness, if that is a uh, the correct term. We are still in a downtrend, and we'll be downtrending until we break above that level, which is your 21 exponential on the daily. Uh, I'd be happy to see us continue for a little while longer, maybe moving up into the 30,000s at that point. But for the moment, based on this week, uh, on this daily, we're still below all the major moving averages. And if you can see very closely here, I am on a very small, crummy laptop, getting rejection again this morning on the 10 exponential. So still very much a downtrend here. Um, but look, it's not as bad as we thought it could be. We had all these areas um, mapped out for potential downside if we would continue, and then the news brought us back up above our previous level. If we go to the weekly, we can see that we're still hovering above that 20 weekly, which is a good place to be. 60% more likely to remain, 65% should I say, more likely to remain in this portion of the band while being above the 20 weekly. So bulls are, you know, have the upper hand while being above 25,500, 25,600, give or take. So it looks quite good. So the reason I was on the one hourly, and we're going to talk about some altcoins now, is that we're looking for some pump signals to be generated if they haven't already. Last night we were looking at these on the live stream and waiting to see if they've been uh, generated. And now they have. So again, on only on the hourly. So the pump signal is a green portion of the cloud, a positive crossing the um, a positive cross of conversion baseline. On the itchy cloud and the cheeky span crossing above the uh, the cloud here as well as price being above the cloud so four components equals pump signal so we generated that pump signal when the cheeky span uh, crept out of the cloud at 26,750 we've consolidated a little bit further down now hitting the 20 exponential on the hourly any one of these areas especially back to uh, 26,650 is an area to try to take a position from if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't take long to know you're wrong you could even have contingency or try another opportunity down here at 26,600 50 exponential on the hourly and if it doesn't work so be it you get stopped up now we've got a lot of these signals brewing uh, and and confirming already on other um on other coins uh, a video i made about xrp a couple of days ago about a decent setup that was uh, that actually you know I, we took advantage of and that was a decent setup and it still is uh, we've got one of the better looking charts on XRP. The one hourly is obviously way surpassed its pump signal. But on the four hourly, we've now just, uh, have we actually confirmed it yet? Yeah, we do. We've got a pump signal on a four hourly. 
Golden Cross, which was almost cancelled out, but we've risen up and made a new local high. Again, this is something we were expecting to happen anyway, but we did dig a little deeper before we ricocheted back out to a new local high on this on this run. So looking quite good on XRP for further upside. Again, it's just one of many altcoins. Atom was another one that we were looking at on the live stream last night. We recognised that it, it had relative strength compared to its other altcoin friends of the same kind of uh, market cap. And again, take it to the one hourly. The pump signal is now in play. So we'll be looking for this one to have further upside. And Ethereum, obviously, is going to be the main driver of all these sort of things. And again, pump signal followed by a golden cross on the one hourly. So we're talking short-term time frame stuff. But short-term time frame stuff will lead to the two hourly, to the four hours, and potentially the daily. And the main thing that I want to focus on, you know, outside is looking at these little individual charts. Because again, that's a very, very quick summary of what we looked at with a bit more detail on the patreon live streams which you might want to join if there's links in the description below for that i just summarized a handful there of the top caps and um, we're looking at the bitcoin dominance chart still being within this area this this box this box of rejection this is where alt seasons have taken place throughout the uh, the later stages of the last the last bull market and the bear market we've managed to use this pretty well we failed Oh, actually, I suppose we failed. Yeah, we, we failed to make any gains the last time we came up into this area. We tried it, looking for an alt season. There may be a delayed reaction, a sort of a you know, delayed fuse on this one. As we still came back up again, we're looking at this on a weekly, came back up here a few weeks back and are getting a rejection from it now. We are kind of curling over now, looking like we might actually have some bit, uh, a bit more of a... Uh, uh, a, a downtrend form on this one i'm not looking for huge downtrending moves on the bitcoin dominance but given the hourly pump signals and the relative strength brewing plus the buy the rumor to potentially sell the news uh, late next week we might see some further upside on um on uh, on altcoins as well as obviously bitcoin so continuation is the name of the game provided bitcoin can maintain that 26,650 again if we lose that area it it will then pick up pace for the downtrend to which technically we're already in now one last thing um just just as a little oh, i suppose just a little extra treat for you and um, i trade uh or should i should say i trade i bought quite large amounts of this stock and this is c3 ai and i don't know if you recognize that in the last sort of alt season at the beginning of this bull market there was a lot of emphasis on ai and everything ai was pumping so i recognize now that this chart here is the instigator of what then comes afterwards when it comes to crypto and other ai stocks so nvidia was up as well but c3 ai as far as i can see is the main driver of the ai you know, phenomenon you know the ai ball rallies that, that seem to happen we looked at this yesterday because i keep a close eye on this one because i hold so much of it uh, and uh, and on the stream last night we were saying well maybe we're going to see a bit of a move for ai cryptos because that's what we had before lo and behold we looked at the well i looked at the charts this morning as i was at the service station because obviously i'm away at the moment and and, uh, and yes we've got fat ai now uh, we are up what eight percent it was up a little higher than that and ocean ocean was up a fair bit as well this morning it's still up um, and then what's the really low budget rubbish one which has really got nothing to do with ai it's ai multiverse isn't it it's, uh, on qcoin ai sdt what is this thing up? Because this thing is, is close to being useless in all fairness, <laughs> but it does pump quite hard. Oh, it's only up 3%, so there has been some, uh, some some changes at the moment. But yeah, we're seeing some moves on the AI things. So uh, it's something to keep an eye on, an AI on, because uh, uh, crypto does have these rotations within the alt uh, from stuff well it used to be like meme coins and DeFi season and layer one and layer two season and now ai has, seems to have its own season and ai seems to be pretty hot generally speaking uh, and uh, and especially with the stocks the stocks were rallying big time so we might see some big moves take place on these ai tokens operative word being might uh, the main thing to focus on generally is going to be the Bitcoin dominance chart and uh, Bitcoin maintaining 26,650. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it with you there. I will continue to make videos. They're going to be of this quality or worse. But I hope you have a nice, uh, a nice weekend and take it easy.